last week on Attack You. It's part of my personality. I just think maybe I smile a lot because the problems out here in the world, it's bigger than my problems. I just think he's really good. Like, I'm his wife, so I'm going to be kind of biased about it. Most importantly, Bobcats got better today. Individually, collectively, we got better. Great job, guys. Proud of Good job. Yeah, three. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> After the win at Bowling Green, the Cats hit the road again, this time to take on the Bulls in Buffalo. It's very difficult to win on the road. I mean, you just look at the numbers of college basketball. It's hard to, it's hard to get true road wins in somebody's building. You know, playing on the road, you know, it's always good to, you know, get, get with your team and, you know, uh, bond with them a little bit more and you know it feels good to you know silent the crowd. You know you're playing in their environment and you have to overcome adversity on the road if they handle a couple buckets or get a lead. You know just being able to adjust to it and handle it with poise and composure. Key to any successful road trip is a quality shoot around before the game. The point of shoot arounds is the final prep before the game. Get yourself mentally prepared you know, any questions that you have, ask questions, just the icing on the cake. Well, they're really just kind of mental, you know, like uh, reviews of things that we're trying to do, walk over their plays, what we're trying to go over, how we're going to guard certain actions, you know, offensively, just get some shots up in their building, um, just feel, get a comfortable feel for the rims, for the floor, uh, different balls that different teams use. And, and really just get them in game mode, just get them in game mind, get guys mentally ready for the game. Shit around is, you know, straight, strictly for yourself, you know, you just you get a feel for the gym, feel for the, you know, arena, the rims, and, you know, you just get your mind ready for the game and, you know, just visualize yourself out there, you know, uh, being successful. Final preparations, final, final touches, you know, clearing up some things that you may have questions on, um, things like that, and uh, to really get prepared. Tonight, Ohio basketball is in western New York trying to win their sixth ball game in a row over the University at Buffalo Bulls. Buffalo has won four of their last six. Ohio comes in winners of three of their last five. The 28th win all time for Ohio against Buffalo came on January the 9th, very early on in Mid-American Conference play. Ohio won the ball game 86-68. Ohio has run the series 26-8. The Bulls come in winners of four of their last six in Mid-American Conference play. DJ Cooper figures to get to 2,000 points in his Bobcat career tonight, and he also looks to break the all-time three-point record in a career in a Bobcat uniform from Alumni Arena in the Nickel City. It's time to get it on between the Bobcats and the Buffalo Bulls. As Buffalo controls the tip and goes to the goal in front of us and to our right. Now to McCrane between the circles. To Skeet on the right side, loads up a three, and he buried it. Cooper, left elbow, baseline left hall, into the post, nobody there to defend. Over a minute and a half old, and Ohio's down 3-5-2. Skeet, baseline left, the guard slash to the 10, it's 7-2. Back to the left side, Watson. Right back to Regan, baseline left jumper, rolls around and in. 9-2, Buffalo on top. Jim Christian is not pleased. Smith stranded out high and gives it to Cooper. Point three for the record. Bang! DJ Cooper, the all-time three-point king in Ohio history. Now to the foul line, Hall, back over to the right side. Coop wide open from here to Chicago. Bang! And there's 2,000, 2,002 points in his illustrious Bobcat career. Ohio down one, 23-22. The pressure has caused a lot of Buffalo problems. Nearly turned it over again. Nurian gets the ball on a deflection. Into the post, it's McCray. Races up against three. Missed the shot. Banker, yes. 25-24 Buffalo. Ohio is down by 10 twice. Down one now. 25-24 at U at B. Regan pocket right against Kellogg. Threw the ball away. John Smith gets it to Cooper who trucks it down the floor. Baseline left. Flying away from the hoop and he threw it up and in. Oh, he shows you he's Superman every night. Pressure D and good shooting allowing Ohio to get the lead. But the Cats are a five at halftime. 42-37 on the Buffalo Bowl. And we're ready to go for half two. Off of the inbound, it is McCray. Back over the left boundary, it's Watson beyond the arc. Up to the top, Regan jumps up a three and he bangs it down. We're tied at 42. Four point lead for Ohio, 55 to 51. Into the post, Keeley bodying up on McCray. Leans in, left hand curl, no good. Keeley fights for the rebound, got it amongst two. Banking shot, yes! Oh, baby! What a big time, strong 
move by Reg. McCray to left wing, Nuriank to McCray, left of the paint. Now to Regan, foul line jumper. Reamed it around and off. Rebound tip in, yes, by McCray. 60 to 57, Ohio's lead is 3, 7.54 to go. Ohio's won five in a row over these guys. Ohio beat them in the MAC tournament last year, won here last year, won the first meeting this year back in Athens. Right back to the ring of the bull at the center jump circle. It's Cooper, drives to the foul line in the lane. Cooper on a bounce into the post, up to the rim for a one hand dunk by John Smith. Pat up 7 49-42. Skeet at the top, crossover dribble. Walt stays with him, ball deflected, loose up the deck. Kellogg gets it as he's falling down, gets it to off and lead down the floor to Keeley, goes to the rim and he laid it in. 69-65, Ohio's down four, 314 to go for the game, 14 for the game. Skeet on the right side against Kellogg, backs it up with the left hand dribble, he's out high. Behind the screen, he has a free space, he goes low block left, shot block down and the ground out of bounds. Oh baby, what a big time, send back by Keeley. DJ Cooper, middle of the floor, across the timeline now. Cooper at the top behind a high screen. Left elbow, falls back, three on the way. Bang for DJ Cooper. Mr. 2K puts Ohio on top, 70 to 69. Cats up one on the road. Oh, there have been so many heart be still moments over the last four years. Off the inbound, Wilkins gets it. Finally, there's the horn. This ball game's done. Paint it green and white. Cats win it 72-69 over the Buffalo Bulls. The Cats get to 13 Mid-American Conference wins. Hey, get, hey, get defense. See, what was it 70 to 63, fellas? It was 70-63 with two minutes to go. Down the stretch, we got six out of seven stops. Six out of seven stops down the stretch when you needed to get it, including the game-winning stop with everybody in the stands, everybody playing. Let's keep going. Let's go. Good work. Good job, Way to fight for it tonight. Together on three. One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. With around-the-clock work during the season, it's important for coaches to take advantage of their downtime. On many days, you can still find assistant Anthony Stewart in the convo, but instead of working with the Bobcats, he takes some time to teach his son. In our relationship, I'm, I'm just dad. You know, I'm not Coach Stewart. I'm, I'm not, you know, a coach at OU. I'm dad. I like to get in with either of my sons, you know, to spend some time with them and, you know, enjoy each other's company, shoot around a little bit, and uh, just enjoy the game and enjoy each other. We're just getting warmed up. Good balance, good wrist snap, shoulder square, elbow in. Goes in every time if you do it right. Previous uh, to being a coach, I was actually in corporate America in transportation and logistical planning. I've, I had a 10-year corporate career. I ran into a buddy of mine that I played basketball against in college. And he said, hey, what have you been doing? Just working and whatnot. He's like, well, I just got to be the AD at this junior college here in town. Uh, why don't you help me coach? I'm hiring myself, why don't you help me coach? And I honestly said, why in the world would I want to do that? and he kept calling me and calling me and calling me. So finally I said, hey, I'll help you this year. And that's kind of how I got my start. I can say without a doubt, unequivocally, this is the best division one job that I've had. We all get along well. Uh, coach Christian's a, an unbelievable coach, a great guy. I couldn't have walked into a better situation. The team that we have, the tradition that's down here at Athens, the fan base, uh, the excitement around the team and how the, the community, the administration, and everyone just supports us. It's been great. All of my assistant coaches, they, they are, you know, they have valuable roles on the floor, teaching different, you know, they work with different uh, position players. He works with our wings. Uh, recruiting is a huge part of what all they, of all of what they do, and he does a phenomenal job there. I'm one of the best in the country. The one thing that this staff has done is develop really good relationships with these guys, and he's really, really good with the players. Um, you know, he talks to me a lot about just going through and, and uh, finishing through contact to, to be more aggressive. Everyone has certain roles when it comes to teams and coaches, and I think he plays his role well and does what he has to do. But everybody knows he's one of those guys and he's very positive. He's never really negative. You love coaches like that. He's very positive and, you know, he really does his job. Me and Stu, me and Stu are pretty close, you know, uh, over the year, you know, uh, I didn't got to know him better. I know his family, you know, uh, son and stuff, so. I mean, uh, we got a good relationship. Well, I, I come from, I, I have a different experience. You know, I, I, I know I know basketball, but I know corporate. So I talk about, 
you know, my experiences of believing in yourself, working hard, working towards a goal. Uh, and I also come to the team with different principles and disciplines from the corporate world. Teamwork, hard work, work ethic. I think I'm a real good relationship guy when it comes to relating to players, and uh, that's what I pride myself in. With a win over Buffalo, the Cats have one regular season matchup left, Hearts rival Miami. A win over the Red Hawks would give Ohio a share of the MAC regular season crown. Well, the team, you know, again, the mindset hasn't changed. I mean, first and foremost, we want to be playing good basketball, head into the MAC tournament. You know, it's our last game before we play next Friday night, so a week away. It's been um, a great four years playing here, and, and we have great fan support. And it's going to be tough saying bye to those guys, but, you know, i got to stay focused and, and get this win tomorrow and, and get ourselves ready to play. Uh, it's one of my favorite games. Um, you know, it's always circled on the schedule. I love playing against Miami. It's been an honor playing against them, against your rivals. A lot of respect. It's a rival game, you know. Whenever it's a rival game, you know, it's going to be intense. It's our last game, you know, in the combo. So we got to come out and play hard and, uh, you know, just cherish the moment, you know. And, uh, and if you're a winner, you, just, you know, you want to play every game hard. You want to win every game. I, our mindset is to come in and take care of business and play Bobcat basketball. We've prepared hard, the guys have worked hard. We just need to do what we need to do and to make sure these seniors go out on a winning note on their last game here in the Convo. Saturday is Senior Day, a chance for all of Bobcat Nation to convene at the Convo one final time and honor the greatest class in program history. Anytime you have a class that goes through like this and continues to win, you know, the legacy gets passed down to the next class, which gets passed down to the incoming recruits. So I think all of those things lead to you building a program, a successful program that can repeat itself. So, you know, these guys have laid a great foundation. It's passed down already to the guys in the junior class. It'll hopefully be passed down to all the new coming players that we have. Obviously, you know, President Davis and Mr. Shouse, our AD, you know, they, they do a good job, you know, putting coaches in place for us to be successful. You really don't realize that you're doing everything, you know, why you're doing it, but you know, when people bring it up to you, you know, you kind of look back and, you know, just seeing us come in, you know, it was, you know, just remember like it was yesterday. We've just been through a lot, pretty much everything, man. A lot of ups and downs, you know, especially my freshman year when, you know, no one expected us to do anything. You know, it's a great accomplishment to me and my teammates. You know, we came in, you know, and uh, we set a goal. You know, we, we did a lot of uh, successful things since we've been here. It's been great playing with those guys, you know, I can't ask for a better group to play with. You know, they're, they're uh, obviously really talented, but, you know, they're great guys uh, off the court. It means the world to the program. You know, it, gets, it gives us a buy-in, the recruits that we're trying to recruit. Recruiting's not an easy task, so any advantage, uh, we, we can tell a story. And when you're able to tell a positive story, particularly about winning and the things that this senior class has done, uh, that's very helpful. I, I feel like that's a that's a biggest accomplishment, bigger accomplishment uh, than scoring a thousand points for me. Is being the, you know one of the best teams or the best class to ever come through Ohio. It's not easy when you have new coaches, a newcomer coming into the family. They don't know me, I don't know them, but I can tell you this: all, all the team and all the seniors have accepted us all, have listened, have been open to new ideas, have been open and willing to be coached and it's, it's, it's been great, it's been great. You know, it just means a lot that we're establishing a program here and hopefully we can keep it going for years to come. Those guys, you know, they've earned the right to, to say they're winning this class by the way they performed and the consistency with which they've done it. So it's an important day for a lot of reasons. Honor the greatest, most uh, winningest uh, class of seniors ever. This senior class has been absolutely tremendous. It marked the turnaround of Ohio basketball. Really puts the signature on this time in history as probably being the best for Ohio basketball. This is the lead, this is the lead, man, come on. Play down these nets in 40 minutes, fellas. Yes, sir. seniors in the starting lineup today. Walt off at 6'4 and a redshirt junior from Indianapolis, Indiana. David McKinley, 5'10 and a senior from Dublin, Ohio gets a start. 
DJ Cooper, six foot and a senior from Chicago. Evo Baltic, 6'9", a senior from Kansas City, Missouri. And Reggie Keeley, 6'9", a senior from University Heights, Ohio. Again, all seniors in the starting lineup today on this senior day at the Convocation Center. Off at left wing, head and shoulder fake into the color. High on the right, Coop for three. Bang! The king of the three set the record at Buffalo. He drills his first triple and his first try on senior day. Angles over the right side, jump pass to the head of the key. Baltic put on the tape jumper, yes. For Evo, and Ohio's on top, 7-2. Baltic was flying into the paint, tipped the rebound with his left hand, saves it to Taylor, up to the top, Keeley. Wilkins to Taylor, corner right three. Bang! For Stevie Taylor. Baltic right sideline, back up to the top now. Cooper, five to shoot, four to shoot. Deep three on the right wing. Left wing three, up and down by Will Felder to answer for Miami. It's 22 to 20, Red Hawks up two. Now he'll drive on the right side, back to the bucket, behind a screen at the foul line. Pitch it to the screener, and a lay-in is good. Low on the right-hand side. Will Felder, the forward from Cleveland, puts the Red Hawks up five. 13 to shoot, 29 seconds left for the first half. Rollins has the ball in between the circles. Behind a high screen, wiggles to the foul line and stops. Into the post, further to Felder, laid it in, counted, and a foul. Great run here at the end of the half for the Red Hawks, and Felder is doing it almost single-handedly. Ohio University basketball is down at halftime to Miami, 28 to 22. Ohio is down six, 28 22 to the Red Hawks at home on Senior Day with a co-share of the MAC title on the line. Now back to the bucket, stripped by Cooper. Cooper stole it away from him. Three on two, Coop blinds to the goal, double clutch on the layup try, and he banked it in with the left hand. Cooper across the timeline now, middle of the floor to the foul line, bounces to Keeley, right hand flush, 37 to 29. Cooper, ball fake, steps in against the double team. Skips it left side. Baltic high in the left, Taylor for three. Bang! Ohio's down nine, 44-35. Taylor is six. Convo's gotta get loud here. Five and four, spins at the top. Taylor, stripped the ball away, goes to the backcourt. Gonna be a shot clock violation. Now if Ohio can capitalize on Stevie Taylor's energy and he doesn't play out of control, Ohio has a chance to get back in this one right now. Corner right, Cooper for three. Off the iron, no. John Smith, Pippen, yes! Counted and a foul! Free throw, no good. Tipped off the iron twice. He got the rebound, and he tipped it in. It's the shot clock, Wayne to 15. It is McKnight, stumbles and length threw the ball away. Stevie Taylor, one-on-one, -on -one, works on cue to the rim. Banker, yes, we're tied at 44. Dribble on Taylor, right back to McKnight. Had the ball stripped away. Taylor stripped it away. Middle of the floor. Pitches left side. Cooper for a three. Bang! Ohio leads 47 44. 7 1 to go. Right side off, it skips it, left side, Baltic. Raises, fires, and buries a three. 52 to 48, four point lead. Biggest of the second half for the Cats. Baltic off of the inbound, spins to the back logo, shoots it up there, banked off the backboard, no good. Long rebound, Baltic whips it to Smith, leans down, lets the defender go by, and he lays it in. 54-50 Ohio, 3.20 to go. John Smith has been the star of the second half. 13 on the shot. Now 10, now 9. Cooper straight on, works on Harris, whips a corner right, Kellogg, ball fake, got a man up, steps in, shoots. Scores! From 17 feet away, four point lead. 24.7 seconds left. This is your house, Kansas City. Four point lead for Ohio. Miami has the ball. Middle of the floor, it's Quentin Rollins. Top of the wheel, it's Rollins. Right of the paint, Rollins. Shot blocked away by John Smith. 
Yes, sir. He's had a big time second half. Brian side 10. Now nine. Johnson dribbles left of the uh, paint. Goes up. Tie up. Jump ball, Ohio. 6.4 seconds left. Ohio win bound the basketball. So they get it to Nick Kellogg. Back to off it. They're not fouling. Four. Now three. Now two. Now one. They won't foul. Ohio University, for the first time, has captured a share of the Mid-American Conference regular season title since 1994. Ohio wins over the Miami Redhawks. 58-54. Painted green and white. A share of the MAC regular season title for the first time since 1994. Cats win at the Convo to pull that green curtain down on the regular season. With the regular season title secure, Ohio turns its sights for the MAC tournament. With a bye all the way to the semifinals, Two wins in Cleveland will send the Cats back to the big dance for the third time in four years. You have to be feeling like you're playing the best basketball. You have to be confident. Uh, you have to be resilient. You have to understand the importance of each and every possession, the importance of the moment, not get too high or too low because you got every team that's going to this tournament thinking they can win it. And every team is going in with the same mentality. So to win it, you're going to have to take somebody's will. You're going to have to take somebody's will to compete. I mean, we know we got a big target on our back. You know, in the past few years, I wouldn't say it was, the target is as big as it is now, but it's, uh, it's pretty big now, so we just got to come out, you know, and uh, play, give the team their best shot. I, I think it really has to do with the mentality of your team. I think it has to do with um, the way they approach it, the way they come out and play in the game, the belief they have in, in, in them trying to reach, you know, the pinnacle of, of the max season, and that's winning this tournament and playing in the NCAA tournament. This is Attack You.